the best tangible items that you could give your students upon completing a course is a certificate, and LearnDash makes it very easy to do that. In this video, we're going to learn how to design a nice looking certificate for you to present to your students upon course completion. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is find a good image to use as the background for the certificate. So the way that LearnDash certificates work is we upload an image as the featured image and then LearnDash will take that image and make it the background of a web page essentially. We'll then use the WordPress editor to position our text just the right way to make it look like a full completed and dynamic certificate. So I'm on canva.com right now. This is a free tool. You can sign up for a free account and create beautifully created images using this online editor. If I search for a certificate, we'll see that a 11 by eight and a half inch certificate template comes up. And then once we do that, we'll be presented with some template options. Now you'll notice that there are templates that are marked free and there are some that are not. The ones that are not marked as free have some paid element to it like an image. Our goal here is to find a very flexible template. So if we look at uh, this one and we click on it, we'll see that we can make this pretty open and that's going to be key in creating our certificate because the WordPress editor doesn't give us a lot of control over how we position our text. And so the more flexible, the better. This is also a free template, which is great. So we are going to just make a few changes here. We'll call this a certificate of completion. We'll also get rid of some of this other text. Again, we want to make this template as flexible as possible. So we'll also delete this signature area here and we'll keep this one, but we'll move it down to the, maybe the bottom center. Change this to our name. We'll drag this up a little bit and then we'll add some images. So I've previously uploaded a couple of images. One is my signature. So I'll drag that onto the page, shrink it down and add it as a uh, element on the line. Now this is a, a JPEG and it's covering part of the image. So we'll also change the position to backwards. So that it looks like it's sitting on top of the line, just like that. Perfect. And uh, then we'll also add a logo just to give this a little bit of personality. So we'll drag the creator courses logo onto the page. We'll shrink this down and just like that, we'll move the certificate of completion up a little bit. And then the last thing we'll do is we can change the color of these lines. So uh, the kind of salmon color, uh, we'll change that to orange so that it matches the logo and we'll do the same thing for the text. We'll change that to orange. All right, and now we have a very simple but open certificate here. And again, this is important. This gives us a lot of room to work with. So I'll click the download button. I'll download it as a PNG. And now we have our certificate of completion. Now if we go over to our LearnDash site, here I have created a course called Creating Certificates. And this course is going to be where our certificate is issued. So the first thing we'll do is actually create the certificate. So I'll go to click on certificates and then I'll click add new and I'll call this certificate of completion and then I will upload our image. So we'll set that as the featured image and then we'll click publish. Now if we go to the visual part of this editor we'll see 
our certificate uploaded here. Things look a little bit strange though, and we'll touch on that in a minute. The first thing we want to do is go back to our courses with our newly published certificate and set the associated certificate to the one we just created. So what this says is as soon as the course is completed, uh, the certificate that we created will be issued. So I'll go ahead and click update and then I will click view course. So we created this course because the best way to preview a certificate is by actually generating it and then refreshing the page once we have it generated. So I have the course here. Uh, we're going to go through our tips, use Canva to grab a good template, make it as open as possible, make a short course that you can complete to test it, and then it's going to be trial and error. So this has one lesson, and this lesson solely exists so we complete the course and view the certificate. I'll click Mark Complete, and now I can print my certificate. So you can see here that the certificate is blank. Of course, we haven't added anything to it. But if we go back to the certificate area, we can click on the certificate and then start adding information. So what is recommended here is I'm going to start in the visual editor and I'm just going to hit the enter key a few times and kind of approximately place things. Uh, again, this is a little bit of an inexact science, but we're going to get as close as we possibly can. So I'm going to hit the enter key a few times to bring us below the certificate of completion headline. I'm going to center the text and then I'm going to use the learn dash short codes to print the user's name. So we'll do first name and last name here. And we'll make this a heading one tag make it nice and big this is gonna look a little bit strange because of the themes formatting but uh, so I'll hit enter twice and then center again for completing the course and then I'll add the course title and again we can make this a little bit bigger so you can see why we might want to have a big open template because this is a little bit inexact. It doesn't look exactly right here, but it's also going to look a little bit different when we view it in the browser. So I'll click update. And then you could see as soon as we hit update that the editor switches to the text field. And this is important. We actually need to know that because uh, these non-breaking spaces, these characters here, will be instrumental in us getting things just right. So let's go back to our certificate page and refresh. So this actually doesn't look too bad. We, we do have a lot of space here and the font is not quite as big as we'd like it, but all in all, it, it's looking pretty decent. So if we go back to our editor, there's maybe a couple of things we can do, right? The first is uh, maybe we want to add a title after uh, certificate of completion. So maybe we'll say uh, we'll add another paragraph text align center. And then we'll save that. And we'll refresh. Okay, so things are starting to get a little bit spaced out. If we go back we can probably get rid of both of these and hit update. And you can see why this is a little bit trial and error, right? Because we're making some changes. We're going back to the certificate and we're refreshing. So this looks pretty well aligned. Uh, maybe the last thing we want to do is change the styles of the name. So one thing we can do, right, is we have a style tag. Unfortunately, there's not a much better way to do this uh, besides adding a little bit of CSS or, or finding some guidance uh, online. So what we're going to do is change the font size and uh, we'll make it 
let's make it really big just to see what happens. We'll make it 80 pixels. And then we'll do something similar for the course name where we say font size and then 50 pixels. So we'll save this and I'm just picking uh, sizes I think might work. And so the name is a little bit bigger. It's not gigantic, but it is a little bit bigger. Maybe we can change it again to, let's say, 140 pixels, and we'll boost the course name up to 90 pixels. Yeah, so that this actually looks uh, a lot better. I think we're, we're really close here. Maybe we'll just reduce the amount of space between for completing the course and the name which we can do by getting rid of this uh, this symbol right here. This symbol stands for non-breaking space. And it's basically just explicitly saying that there should be a space here. We'll refresh this again. And this looks pretty good. Uh, something else that maybe you, you'd want to try in the future is um, experimenting with different fonts and things like that. But... Uh, all in all, this is looking like a pretty good certificate. Uh, and again, you could see why we want a big open space. Before we move on, I do want to point out that uh, this certificate will accept any of the Learn Dash shortcodes, right? So if you want to add the title or, or earned points, if you do points, uh, completed on date is a good one. So if we pick completed on, uh, we'll have to know the date format. So the format being shown right here is full name of the month, two digit date, four digit year, uh, which is good to keep. We don't necessarily need the time. So we can just do that. Insert short code. Do completed on. So we'll just copy our paragraph text from above. And then we'll go back and refresh. And then we have the completed on date. So that's it for this video. In it, we looked at how to find a good template using canva.com. We learned how to de design a certificate template that works for the Learn Dash certificate creator. And then we created a nice looking certificate to issue to our students when they complete the course. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.